Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade, and today we're talking all about how to make money around the product you offer. Ugh! I'm terrified to make this video. I don't know why. I'm literally like shaking. No, that was just me aggressively shaking my hand. But like, I'm I'm shaking. Can you say it? Can you see that? Well, I'm shaking, okay? <gasps> why am I so nervous? I've tried to film this so many times, and I just sounded too pretentious every single time. Wait, okay, let's get down to business. Today, we're going to over how to create a personal brand around what you offer. The reason why I'm so nervous is because a year ago, I made a video called how to make money online without affiliate marketing. Now, that video did really well, and I just watched it and I'm looking at the old footage and thinking like, what the fuck is she thinking? Like I was a completely different person back then. I just have so much to say <laughs> because I felt like some points I said, especially in that video, was a little bit misleading. Um, I'm exposing myself at this point, but I also wanted to go over questions you guys asked me on that video a year ago and answer it today because a lot of you guys were asking how to build a marketing agency, how to get clients, how to make money with Instagram, even if you don't have followers. So I'm going to, I have a list, literally I have, a, I have a list of questions you asked. We're gonna answer it, I'm gonna get ready as well. Literally no makeup, I'm as raw as it gets. And we're gonna dive right in. You are not 16, stop lying, you are at least 26. <laughs> at the time I recorded that video a year ago, I was 16, I'm 17. Why do people think I'm lying when I say my age? Hey Jade, how do you find these customers? Do you approach them or do they approach you? Do you place ads for this? That's a long question. So. In the video a year ago, I was basically addressing how I have clients that I help. Why did I do this? I do have clients. <laughs> I'm gonna go over why I'm so nervous in a second. Basically, I had these clients that I did marketing for, and I was doing their Instagram and social media, and someone was asking me how I found the clients. Now, this is... Okay, I'm getting really vulnerable right now. This is honestly my... You know what? Fuck it. I was really, really lucky because my dad actually owns a marketing agency too, and he helps shop of shop. In the other video a year ago, I'll link it below by the way. I, I, I don't recommend watching it, but for reference purposes, it might be interesting to check out after. But I basically said that I help clients. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I was lying to you guys. I, I do have clients, but I didn't address one important thing, which was the fact... Hold on, let me do my eyebrow. I'm, I'm like stressing out. My first few clients were through my father's marketing agency. Now, a lot of people hear that and they're like, oh my God, Jade, you're my little brother. No, bitch. It was not like that. I was working under my father's marketing company called White Verge. You guys can check it out. It's a very smart guy. And we were working together because I was doing his content creation for one of his clients. Actually, if people, people don't fucking believe me. I'm gonna put up a video from 2016 of a summer campaign for the client Handful Bra. like these videos of me kind of obliterating myself and my past but I love sharing my experiences in helping you guys build your own agency or company as well so there's an example of when I was literally 15 I made videos for clients and brands so this question was saying you know how did I find these customers and to be honest if I really want to answer this question correctly it depends what stage I was at the very first year it was honestly through my parents. It was through my people I'm related to. They gave me a referral. My daughter makes videos. Check her out. That was the first year. The second year, it was more like, hey, like, how about Jade kind of attends the meetings and sells herself? So I was attending my uh, father's meetings, literally like in person. You can actually check those vlogs out. And I would try to sell my services through him. Now the third year, which is this year, I basically just cold called. Like I, I went out there. I did YouTube videos. I got my own outreach. Here's the thing, you guys. Everyone starts somewhere and you, you have to understand everyone's different. I can't tell you to fucking cold call, which I did by the way. Oh my God. Cold call was a time. Maybe I'll go into an entire video of how I cold call. <laughs> All right. So we went over the first question. Now I'm going to talk about the agenda for today. Currently it's 8.30 AM. And if you recognize this background, I'm actually back home. I was living in LA and I'm visiting my parents, but um, it's kind of cool to be back. If you recognize the background, you are the real one. Here's the agenda for today, okay? 9 a.m. We got a coaching call with a student. At 12 p.m. We have a podcast recording with a company. At 12.15, I have a sales call. And at 1 p.m., I have one of my clients' Instagram growth meetings. I'm going to take you along through my entire day, answer some of you guys' questions, go over my business, and literally rip apart and show the back end of what I do and how I make money. I, I don't want to lie to you guys. I just want to be real here. You guys know, no bullshit club. Anyways, I'm going to finish up my eyebrow, and then I'll see you guys. Very soon. I was, the question is, how do you target the right people on Instagram ads? It's super simple. 
I don't know. You don't want to know. You're not supposed to know. What I find is I A-B test the shit out of it. So what I would do, let's think about 10 different demographics. You, you personify a user. Do 10 different um, ad sets. In each 10, you have 10 different ads on the business manager on Facebook. You can run it for a week and then find the cheapest acquisition. Out of everyone, you just find, okay, the people who are girls that love Gary Vee are getting the most likes and cheapest, like it's like 50 cents. I'm gonna go for it. And then you turn off everything. That's how you do it. So we just finished up the 9 a.m. coaching call, as you guys saw. Then I had a 10 a.m. sales call to see if one of you wanted to join the business boot camp. And then we got her in. If you guys don't know what the business boot camp is, a lot of you guys out there use YouTube videos and get tutorials for free, which is great, but y'all don't do shit with it. It's basically a six week training to make sure a lot of you take action and start making money from your brand. What does it look like to charge multiple brands $2,500 a month? How do you feel confident when stating your price? Hey Jade, how did you build your YouTube channel from zero to 100K in less than a year? These are just some of the questions I go over in the Business Bootcamp. The Business Bootcamp is a six week intensive group training. You get intimate group one hour long lectures every week. I'm also throwing in weekly homework and exercises plus my sales script and actionable templates. If you ever considered hiring me as a consultant, this training is an astounding value. Check it out, there's only one seat left for this group training. It starts November 24th. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna head over to my 11 a.m. podcast recording with the company Fizzy Flax. Um, I'm meeting with their founders and we're gonna talk about branding, sales, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna head over there. What do you think is your best practices or tips in regards to properly networking? I, there's a couple things that come to mind here. Gone to an event with a specific person in mind, but I've already stopped on LinkedIn. Next meeting with my client, we're helping them grow their Instagram for their clothing line, and we're gonna dive right in. Today we really went over like, you know, a quick conversation about like, how can we increase this video engagement? It's getting crazy saves. Right now, we follow a thousand, let's say we follow a thousand people, a hundred people follow back. I wanna figure out a way, when we follow a thousand people, 200 people follow back. And from there, we're gonna keep increasing that conversion rate. I just finished a pod, why do I have Vaseline in my hand? I just finished a podcast recording, had a meeting with one of my clients I do Instagram for, and now we're going to get lunch at 1.30 p.m. We're starving, entrepreneurs on that grind. We never stop working, we eat late, we grind early. We <laughs> Friends, Colin Today, Samir interviewed with me podcast. on the podcast. Her name is Jade, Jade Donna Wongsa. Ah! Came Jade earlier this year when she had about oh. really impressed with the content she was putting out and the knowledge she had about marketing on the internet. My She's gosh. grown a very impressive brand across Oh my the god! Did you say my knowledge? <laughs> oh my god! Go check out my interview on Colin and Samir's podcast, Fangirling. She's been on YouTube for I love their channel so much. Hey guys. So this is my mom. <laughs> say hi mom. <laughs> so my dad's right there. And we were listening to the podcast. How was it mom? That's amazing. So guys, I got a veggie salad with a veggie pizza. My dad got a Chinese chopped salad with mushrooms and pepperoni. If you guys know me, you know that I always put red pepper on my meal. Ooh, good. All right guys, so I'm back home and I'm about to answer some of your deepest, darkest questions and we're gonna close off this video very soon. But before you do, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you're so far enjoying it. I know this is an old video, but how did you work on experience and then move to the second step? So basically, in the video I mentioned a year ago I made, which was very interesting as I said, um, I basically gave you guys advice to learn, experience, get, uh, get good at a skill, then step two is teach that skill, give away content about it, and step three, scale it and sell it as a product. So the thing is, step one is about learning and it being experienced. So this question is kind of directed as how long do you have to stay learning and getting experience before you can be ready to share it to the world? And I don't know about you, who do you think is good enough? Do you think I'm good enough? Do you think Elon Musk is good enough? What's your definition of someone who has it all? If you ask that person, they will tell you that I still don't feel good enough. And you guys can take me for example, okay? I have moments, even in my marketing company, where I feel, <laughs> sorry, I don't, <laughs> this topic is just hard to talk about because to be honest, these are things that fa I face every day. Um, I don't typically talk about this, but for you guys, I'm gonna toughen up and just. <sighs> so sometimes I find myself asking my dad, cause he's my business partner, you know, like, hey dad, like sometimes 
I don't feel like I'm good enough to work with these bigger clients. Like as my company is scaling and I'm consulting more people, I find myself like talking to people where, you know, I feel too young. Like you have to understand like everyone I work with is older than me. Like all the founders I work with, my clients are like 20, 27, 30, 35 and I'm 17 years old. I know some of you guys out there are like, hey Jade, like you have 120,000 subscribers. You've, you went on like a Europe tour to meet businesses. Like I thought you have it together. And the honest answer is I don't, which is why I wanted to make this video in the first place. You guys saw in the very beginning of this video, I was saying, you know, how I'm nervous to film, how I think I don't want to talk about this because I didn't feel good enough to talk about business. I, I thought I'm like only an Instagrammer and I'm like, fuck that. Basically on the Colin and Samir podcast, I sometimes forget what I say on interviews. So I was listening to it in the car with my family and I just realized we went over something that's I never talk about, which is the fact that I put this shit online, like the fact that I'm telling you guys that I don't feel good enough, that my company is like, it, it scares me sometimes. I'm like, why would I put this out here? You know what I mean? Um, and I realized to me, you know, you guys should check out the podcast. But as I was listening to myself talk about my life story and put it out for the first time, I'm like, what the shit? Why? This is kind of personal. Like, I feel naked. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, if you're a YouTuber, you know that sometimes you think you, like, have no privacy. Um, anyway, see, I don't mind that because I know the reason why I share my story out here is to help you guys. It's not about me. I want you guys to be successful. So if you ever think about, you know, like, I don't feel good enough, ask yourself this. Will this be valuable to someone? You know, can I help someone with this message? If you're at the end of the day, my job, my career, my consulting company, my agency. Okay, think about it. If you are someone that has a service, a product, and you're selling a product online, it's not for you. It's for the consumer. It's for the audience. And I think we so often like get our heads caught up in our competition. Like we look to the left and right. Like who's the coolest Instagram model next? You know, who's who's the coolest digital marketer? Like why am I not good enough? And I just think we compare ourselves to our peers. But really, we should think about ourselves and think about our audience and the people who care about us. I don't know what I'm going with here. All I say is I'm going to keep telling you guys about my shitting problems. I'm going to keep telling you guys about my anxiety, my, my, you know, insecurities, because I know that this community on this platform is everything I have. You guys are my love. Um, and I thank you for being here. All right, guys, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with this. That was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, by the way, you guys make sure you click the link below. If you're someone with a social media marketing agency or a design service, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Ask me a question. Let me know how I can help you be successful. Um, I love you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.